welcome to my channel my name is Yvonne and today I want to share with you what I have been doing with my girl preparing her for school year the new school year and today's video she's not gonna be here because she's gonna be bored <sighs> so in this video we're gonna talk about three most important things that you need to prepare your kids for school for back to school spiritually mentally and physically don't allow your kids to be bullied empower them as much as you can give them the information that they need so for now she's gonna leave and we're gonna talk soon let's get right into it okay number one spiritual empowerment as christian parents it is our responsibility to spiritually inform our kids on what they need to know using simple and relatable stories in the bible for example adam and eve so every year we study this bible chapter because it is where the fall actually happened it is the chapter where sin was introduced into the world and by the way i did a full bible study last year with my daughter you just saw her and i'm gonna link it in the description below and also in the cards one beautiful thing about the bible is that the bible is inexhaustible every time you read it new insights every day and this year when we studied the bible i discovered that in that genesis chapter 3 verse 1 the devil asked eve a very very you know let me say a silly question and that was when i told my daughter if you notice somebody wants to trick you the person will start with a silly question and i'm gonna read it in my new king james version genesis chapter 3 now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the lord god had made and he said to the woman as god indeed said you shall not eat of every tree of the garden you know the insight that i discovered this year was did god say every tree god never said every tree god gave them the direct instruction don't eat of one particular tree and when eve now gave the serpent the instruction god gave her the enemy now saw the grounds to trick her so what we learned this year was that don't don't allow the enemy don't allow people to ask you silly questions if you notice that they are asking you silly questions know that it is uh, you know it is a trick they are looking for an opportunity to confuse you and to convince you so that's what we learned this summer you know preparing for school this year that don't allow people to ask you silly questions if your parents told you that that thing is bad you know don't allow anybody to ask you did did you really think about what your parents said are you sure your parents were right that's a trick that's a trick so that's what we learned this year i encourage you to study this genesis chapter 3 this is where we study and you know it was it is very very interesting you know you might not see much but when you study it you see a whole lot of truth revelation in it so like i said video in the description and another thing that i i also pointed out with her it is in genesis chapter 34 verse 1 dinah's incident if we look at um genesis chapter 34 i have my niv it says now diana the daughter laid had bore to jacob went out to visit the women of the land when shechem son of Habor, the hevite the ruler of that area saw her he took her and raped her so we've also studied that place and i led her to understand that diana was not properly informed about that area if you study your bible you will notice that that city was filled with idol worshiping so there were a lot of parenting mistakes that happened that i pray i have the time i want to come back to share what this place you know what happened in this place that actually made diana to be raped so as parents it is our responsibility to properly inform our children had it been diana was properly informed about the her surrounding she shouldn't have gone out carelessly to go and visit so it is your duty as a parent to inform them and empower them spiritually number two mentally mental empowerment is very important 
give your children or your child enough information that he or she needs to be confident in his or herself. Talk more about peer pressure. You know, sometimes you see kids do something, you wonder why they are doing it. It's because they are being pushed around. Talk about bullying. Last year, my daughter was bullied and at a point I lost my cool. I had to go to that girl and give her my last warning. And from that day, I think Joanna was in peace because she normally comes home crying. She said, I have reported this girl to the principal. I reported her to the teacher. I'm going to do it something myself. And I also want to encourage parents. If you notice that a, your child complained that he or she is bullied, please stand up for that child. If there is a need for that child's school to be changed, please do it for that child. You know, don't let us not allow any child to die you know endlessly the next one is talk about sex oh my goodness last year god bless my heart i spoke to my daughter i talked to her about sex even when i thought she wasn't ready but guess what she read about sex in the bible she read about tamar and abnon she read about tamar being raped by her brother so she asked me mommy what is raped and now said okay it looks like you're ready all right we're going to use the Bible to teach you what sex means. Okay, what my parents couldn't do. You know what? In my time, that was an abomination. But I someone courage and I taught her what sex means. Guess what? When she got into fourth grade, she came home almost every day. These kids, they are always twerking. They are always twerking, twerking. I'm like, what does twerking mean? I didn't know what twerking means, even though I knew the action. But I didn't know what twerking means. And I told the father, twerking, the father said, what does that mean? So we both checked Google and I, and she also said, they moan, mourning. What in the world is happening with nine-year-old kids? They are mourning, you know, kids, they are all corrupt. And I'm sure their parents don't, I, and I'm not, I'm not judging, but I feel they were not given proper information on what sex is. You know, for them to know that there's a place and time for that, not in school, not everywhere, moaning and twerking. So, bless my heart that I taught my kids what that means and that didn't take her by surprise. I just told her those kids, they need some proper orientation and training because obviously that's not good. Also, as a parent, it is important for you to educate your child to learn more about his or her body. Like whenever school is about to start, we normally watch this movie. It's called Belly Be Believes in Me. And this summer as school is about to start, we have watched it. And it's something but that my daughter says, oh, mommy, I'm used to it. But each time we watch it, we learn one or two things. For example, it teaches us about the five Bs, which talks about body parts. You know, helping your kids to know the body parts, know their private parts. There's nothing like private part games. The number two B is boundaries know that my body is my space no one should enter my space without my permission you know they should respect your boundary they should respect my boundary if i say no no means no and the third one is be brave say no yell and tell make sure you tell the teacher go tell an adult you know be brave and the fourth one is boss secret meaning don't keep secret don't allow anybody to tell you secret and say don't tell anybody always expose secret and the feed b is be bold and believe believe in yourself i tell my daughter you're beautiful you don't need another person to say that for you to believe believe it be bold in don't allow people to to play trick on you be bold and believe in yourself all right so those are the five b's that we learn preparing our, our kids mentally also teach your kids the importance of actions and consequences you know how their actions affect other people respect people's property don't take what doesn't belong to you because you're hurting them you're hurting people you're hurting people's feeling you're hurting their pockets if you take what doesn't belong to you i mean you make them spend more money to buy that thing again or if it is a child you make that child to get punishment for being careless meanwhile you took that thing so teach them the consequences of their action help them to understand you know that it is unacceptable to take what doesn't belong to you because you're hurting people you hurt their feelings you hurt their finances it's not right i grew up in a country where they say being smart is not stealing that is stealing the taking things that don't belong to you is stealing
So let them also understand the importance of being different. Don't be afraid to stand out. Okay, don't follow the multitude to commit evil. Last year, my daughter took her Bible to school and she was reading it in class. And people were like, huh, what's that? I'm like, really? Bible in America is what people are wondering, what's that? Interesting. So, don't be afraid to stand out. Don't be afraid to be different. I told my daughter, you are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. That's what Matthew 5, 14 says. So the next one is physical empowerment. First Samuel chapter 17 from verse 33 to 37. In today's world, we cannot afford to raise our kids to be timid, to be fearful, to be, you know, to be crybabies. When they are made do something to them, they cry. No ma'am, no sir, I'm not raising my kids like that. I don't want you to raise your kids like that. So last time my daughter was bullied, also one time in a recess, the girl pinned her to the wall and gave her a slap. And you know, she did not beat her back because we don't encourage her to be violent. So she reported the case to school authority. And when she came back from school, she told me I was angry. She told the father, the father said, okay, that's it. You have to be enrolled in Taekwondo to be able to fight back. There are some cases that you don't need to go tell anybody. There are some cases that you you fight. So my kids are in Taekwondo. And before then, I used to encourage my daughter, Joanna. Joanna, be confident in yourself. Stand and, you know, face people. Because I used to be very timid. I used to be miserable, fearful, and a crybaby. Everything cry. But my daughter, I empower her physically, mentally, and spiritually. So I want her to be balanced. So I'm going to read this to encourage you as a parent that it is not wrong to help your child to be physically empowered. So it is the story of David and Goliath. And I read in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 33. I have NIV. Saul replied, you are not able to go out against this Philistine and fight him. You are only a young man and he has been a warrior from his youth but david said to saul your servants have been keeping his father's sheep he's talking based on experience when a lion or a bear came and carried off a sheep from the flock i went after it experience struck it and rescued the sheep from its mouth when it turned on me i seized it by his hair struck it and killed it your servant has killed both the lion and the bear. This uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them because he has defied the armies of the living God. And he said, The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of these Philistines. Saul said to David, Go and the Lord be with you. So he talked based on experience. So empowering your children is giving them enough physical strength to fight, to withstand, to defend themselves. So it is important that you do that. David said, if I was able to kill a lion with my hands and kill a bear, I can withstand this man. The Lord who rescued me. Could you imagine? Faith and work. The Bible said faith without work is dead. So faith and work put together, what do you think will happen? Great result. Number four, prayers. Teach your child to pray so that they can learn how to call God first when they are going through difficult moments in life. And also as parents, we need to be in continuous prayer for our kids. This is very important. You know, towards the end of last school year, something devastating happened. There was a shooting at Uvalde, Texas, which, you know, broke everyone's heart i mean it was just two days for school to be over and somebody went and shot i think 19 students and killed young elementary school kids so it is important that we pray for our kids you know it is quite unfortunate that prayers bible and everything godly is not allowed in public schools so pray for your kids Teach them to pray, teach them to call God for themselves, teach them to pray and as parents continually, 
pray for your children and with that being said i would like to round up this you know video with a word of prayer because there are some things we cannot control we can only do the best we can and we leave the rest to god so it is important that we pray for our kids we pray for the teachers we pray for the school board we pray for the principal we pray for the coaches we pray for you know everyone inclusive because it's not only children that were affected teachers too were affected and that is not the first place that this kind of thing has happened it has been happening so with that being said let us pray father we thank you for this school year thank you for helping us as parents to prepare our kids to the new school year father we ask for wisdom we ask for good relationship with teachers we are we ask for a wonderful school year wisdom for the teachers to be able to pass you know knowledge to these children and most importantly we ask for safety that you protect these children you know on their way to school and on their way back and in school properties lord you protect them that we will not hear of any evil no evil will befall them no evil will befall the teachers no evil will happen to any of our students of our kids lord be with them watch over them protect them and let it be a wonderful school year we ask that you heal the heart of those parents that have lost their kids no parent wish or desire to take their kids to school to you know for them to have the dead body being given to them that is unacceptable we ask that you touch the heart of the senate to do something about gun violence and that this school year none of our kids will be lost through gun violence and that you keep us safe and that we will not have that phone call of negative reports thank you father because we know that you've heard an answer and that you will protect our loved ones to the glory of your name blessed be your name for in jesus name we pray amen please i want you to say amen in the comments below you know in agreement to the prayer thank you so much for watching i encourage you to like the video subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon to notify you when i upload a new video thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you next time Bye bye